guys, Rachel Cox Emmy Way here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up, 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 level up
but you want this to last all night through your prom. Just make sure to prime the skin really nice. Voila. All right, guys, the skin is ready. All right, guys, the skin is for sure ready now. <laughs> so, guys, the foundation we're going with today that I haven't tried on camera yet that I can't wait to show you guys is the NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This foundation is so bougie, so cute. Um, This, I'll just show you guys, but I kind of shake it first. A little bit goes a long way. This is claimed to be full coverage and it is, and you can really build it. It lasts a while. Now, you wanna be careful, because I think like it might like, like it uh, might transfer. It says it's transfer resistant, but sometimes I've seen it transfer. But if you really set it, you're fine. If you had dry skin for prom, I would like not set too much, just maybe in the places you need. I keep wanting to try not setting, but for the purpose of today's video, on prom, I think I'm going to set just where I need. But look at guys, in the light, it looks so good. And you, like this foundation is literally so beautiful. I can't even describe you guys. And my perfect foundation, finding the perfect foundation, this is the foundation I found. And like, you can literally put as much as you want. It's not going to look cakey. Like, I've painted my face, then blended it, and it looks so good. Like, it makes your skin so buttery so smooth this is not sponsored by the way not even big enough to be sponsored which is totally fine but like this look at it on camera guys if you guys can get this you need it it's high end but no drugstore no other foundation i think comes to it and looking hd and perfect it might go into like your forehead lines but just blend make sure it's blended and then set it for palm i definitely want to um be full coverage my favorite part of makeup is definitely foundation. So, of course, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. But I don't, I think for Palm, I'm definitely going to be extra as fuck and go really um, ham with my makeup. So, you don't have to do this, but I kind of, um, you kind of want to make sure there's like a lot of, most of the product is kind of concentrated where your uh, darkness is. But then I kind of just, because I love full coverage, I kind of get like darkness right here. So I'll go on right there. After you blend it, you want to make sure you, uh, you really set the under eye fast. Um, and I'm going to be taking my Cover Effects powder. And since I have dry skin, I'm only going to take that much or even littler. Littler again, you don't really need too much um, product. But for oily skin, you can totally go ham. Um... But as you guys can see, dark circles who? And then I'm taking the bottom of the sponge to meld the foundation in with the concealer. Taking my powder and setting the under eye. I'm gonna just take a little bit, just a little bit, because I want that glow to be there. And not powdering too much is gonna help the highlight really stand out too. Oh yeah, how could I forget my nose? As I showed you guys before, I went in with the Catrice um, makeup setting spray um, before I did my foundation. So it's kind of like within each step, it's gonna help the product sink into the skin as well as um, it's gonna help like everything last. It makes my skin so HD and takes the powders away. And I'm going in with Anastasia Contour Kit. It's literally so good. Um, and guys, I got this at TJ Maxx. This is normally retails for $40. TJ Maxx is selling this for $16.99, more than 50% off. And I, I kind of want to do like a TJ Maxx um, vlog. But not only do they have this, they have Anastasia Subculture, which I want to get because it's like, it wasn't too good. Um, I haven't tried it, but you know, everyone like saw it. But anyways, not just those shit. Um, like they have this, they have a uh, Kat Von D, which um, they also have two faced. So if you guys want high end for a low price, go to TJ Maxx. 
I think I need to get a new brush because I, I feel like this takes off the foundation. This is the e.l.f. Um, brush. Um, but I've been mixing these, but I think you can just, if you really want to be there, you can just mix all three. But see, look at that. Look at that, honey. But I kind of like to stamp it first where I'm going to place it. Um, in, in case it's not too set with the powder. Um, so it doesn't just stop the foundation. You can all, also just tap it in. Then I like to just swirl it and then kind of go in. As you can see, it really warms up the face. Going on the forehead. Not going with too much powder kind of helps everything look good, not too texturized. Just to make them extra diminished, um, I'm going to go in with this shade right here because it's a bit pinkish, um, but it's really like brightening. And I'm just going to press that wherever there's still like a little darkness, just where the darkness hits, not all over. And Anastasia, this Anastasia kit is so pigmented. Like, I'm actually kind of shook. Guys, I want to cry. I love makeup. So we added the bronzer to make, um, you just look sculpted. You can go ham with it on prom. It's just going to make you sculpted in pictures. But next, to add more color and dimension, I'm going to go in with the MAC Peaches Blush. You guys see me every single time. And again, I'm going to just tap it a bit above the contour. Because, um, like, you want to blend it, but you don't want to cover that contour completely. But the blush, when you do this, um, the blush and contour are just going to, like, kind of marinade together. Ooh, look at that. With no extra product, I found the perfect way to do nose contour. L minimalist product, I didn't even dip back and just tap right here. Because you don't want to go all the down. When you go up, so the nose looks snatched, but like tapping it in with a bigger brush is really helpful, especially if you're like a beginner. You could just snatch it, like, look at that. And again, to make the highlight pop, to add another layer, going in with the Catrice. And you don't need a lot because the spray is so good on this thing. So now it's time for everyone's favorite part, and it's so amazing highlight. And going with the uh, Ofra Nikki tutorials glazed donut as you can see it's much loved i dropped it once and i repressed it but I, if you want that highlight to be popping uh really tap it in and i also like i like to tap and then kind of dust it off because i love a good beaming highlight but i was for a minute just doing a little bit of highlight like a little bit but kind of tapping it off right here um like it won't show as much texture but I'm also doing this series with you guys, prom how-tos, um, so you guys can get inspiration. It also helps me, so I know what I'm going to do for my prom. And luckily, I have, don't have prom until, like, May. So I have some time to experiment. Woo! See, look at that highlight. As you can see, it kind of shows texture, so I, I kind of don't want to go into it too much, but I also just want to diffuse it out, too. This highlight is no joke. Um, if I go a bit natural on the cheek, I don't care. I'll go in with the nose. And I kind of keep it right here so it's going to add that slimness. And then I just take a little bit to add more dimension. And, and then I love also going ham with the... That was a bit too much, but... Going ham with the nose highlight. I mean the Cupid's bow highlight. I also, I think on prom, I'm going to put inner corner here. But to do it, I love it to take the ColourPop um, Flexitarian Shadow. I don't know what it is, but it just really um, looks good. But this just adds more drama and kind of opens the eyes. All right, guys, you guys guessed it. The final step. All right, guys, we have our base down. What do you guys think? This is, this concludes our how-to foundation. It's so glowy. It's so glam. But whether you choose to do eye makeup before this routine or eye makeup after, you're going to look snatched. 
if you follow these steps. Even if you don't, if you do your own steps, it's amazing. So guys, this concludes my how-to prom foundation. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a how-to prom series. Next, I'm going to be doing how-to eyes. And I'm going to do more natural eyes, more glam. And yeah, and if you don't want to do eye makeup, you can totally just do this foundation routine, add mascara, and or and lashes if you want lashes after. I'm just going to throw on a little nude lash. In case you're wondering, this is Kylie Lip Kit, a uh, Dirty Peach. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy them. Tell me if you're going to follow this and stay tuned for my next How To Prom. My socials are going to be listed on the screen and also linked down below. Subscribe to this YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. And also I have Twitter. Comment down below if you want to see a more natural look for the eyes or more glam. Bye, guys. <gasps> no! I got primer on the brow. Somebody help. No, it's fine. I've, like, I forgot I ran out. Okay, that's fake. I totally just like, oh.